Striking and grappling are not separate skill sets. If you don't know grappling, you don't know Muay Thai. It is not just punching and kicking. If you do not understand the clinch game, how to stop a takedown, a sweep, a trip, you do not know Muay Thai. Clinch fighting is what separates Muay Thai from other striking arts, because it's not just a striking art. So, if you're not spending a considerable amount of training time working on the clinch, you are doing yourself a huge disservice. In this video, I will teach you three sweeps from a clinch. Have fun, pay attention, take notes. It's Ramsey Dewey. I'm over here with Aziz at the Mordor Fight Club in Shanghai, China, where we are training the forces of evil to conquer Middle Earth or something like that. Anyway, let's do some Muay Thai sweeps. So the first one we worked on today is this one. We're going to pummel to the inside. We've got a collar tie, but I'm going to reach deep around the head. Now I pull, I push, down we come. So he's got the collar tie, right? One more time. I'll do it on this side. Notice I'm going from a collar tie to essentially a side headlock. I'm tying up with my shoulder around the head, squeezing tight. And you'll notice this foot here is coming behind his foot. I'm not kicking it. I'm sweeping, like just brushing the floor right there with an open foot, right? So essentially without the pull, I'm pulling this way and see he can step, right? So when I sweep, I pull, I block the foot so he can't step. Here. Can you do it? Okay. Mm -hmm. yeah. mm -hmm. So you're going to get the, uh, yeah, from the collar tie, this one, oh, yeah. So, so to get a pull, right, pull. So, Jenny, yeah. Oh, right. Okay. Uh, so pull, oh. there we go. Okay, something like that. So one more time, we get the inside collar tie, right? This is more, if he has the, the inside, the outside won't be enough. I'm going to pummel deep for the inside, grab this. Turn it into a side headlock, almost pull. pull. Down we come, okay? Good, thank you, Aziz. Now, second one we worked on, okay? So we're going to collar tie, overhook, okay? Now from here, I can pull and I can step, I can use my head, I can lock up a quarter Nelson, I can knee him in the head, I can roll him over. We've made videos about this one, okay? So we won't review that one too much, okay? But what if we move into an over-under like we did yesterday? Okay, now I'm gonna get a whizzer. I'm going to release, pull, push, sweep. Okay, so the motion on this one, nice job. we're going to pull down as we pivot. So it's bow down and pivot. And then as we come up and pull back, I'm gonna sweep. So one more time, over-under clinch. Let's move this way. So I've got this underhook here. Overhook, turn this into a tight wizard. I've got to wrap his shoulder tight. If it's loose, I can't move him, right? If it's tight, now I can move him down, I can move him up. I need that. So make sure to get the footwork in here. Down, up, sweep. Okay, here, you do that to me. Okay, Nico. So he's, right. so he's gonna open, down. So you should be able to do it with one hand. Okay, ego show, ego show. Okay, and here's how. So again, open. All right, so this hand's over here. And on the way up, up, down, boom. There we go. So now you. So over, under, right? Open and up. There we go. Nice. So one more time. We've got our over, unders, right? Open, down, up, sweep. Okay. So without a partner, very simple footwork. Open, release the underhook, up. Down, all together. One more time on this side. Okay. Yeah. So down, up, sweep. Okay. You want to do it one more time? Here. You. Okay. So open, up. Yep. There we go. Yeah. So if, if it's nice and fluid, right? If I, if I bow down here and I'm like, oh, oh, he's going to be fighting back. He's going to be getting stable, right? So try to make this one fluid motion. Down, up, sweep, okay? Because sweeps happen best when the other guy's moving. Let's go back to that first one. If he's still, ah, it might be hard to move him. But as soon as I lay the collar tie on him, I start, him, I start to move him forward, back, side to side. <laughs> now this one gets a lot easier, okay? But if he's stationary, he's got his weight on his feet. Now he's hard to sweep, he's hard to move. But a guy who's moving is much easier. 
We can also use the collar tie here for rotational force, right? So I can start to pull when we didn't do. Notice as I pull, Aziz steps forward onto this foot. So what if I block that foot? Okay. So this is a, it's a very simple one. Collar tie, whizzer, tying up the shoulder. Notice as I pivot, he has to step this to maintain balance. So if you watch this foot, as I pull, I block. Um, he has nowhere to step. Do you want to try that one? Okay. So you got a, yeah, whizzer, collar tie right here. It's like, duty. Mm -hmm. Okay, yeah, something like that. Yeah, it doesn't take, again, it's not a big kick. A lot of people make this mistake, and they think a sweep is like, they think it's like, ha, ha. It, it's not. It's nothing like that. It's just block it. Block it so he can't take a step, right? So if I'm pulling down here and I'm pushing here, blocking, right, that's enough. Okay? So last one, we've got the over-unders. I'm going to release this, bring this down. His head's down here. Now I can get my quarter Nelson. I can either get undefended knees to the head, boom, or roll him over onto his back. And there we go. So thank you so much, Aziz. Thank you for watching. Right, now get out there and train. Oh, oh, <laughs> fireman's scary. <laughs> <laughs>